What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today what I have for you guys is we're going to be talking about all the Black Ops 6 multiplayer maps. This include the 6v6 map as well as the small scale strike maps. We'll go over the early gameplay footage, the details, the map names, the descriptions, and everything that you need to know about them. So as usual, if you find the video helpful or informative, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. A quick reminder, I did post a video yesterday where we went over and talked about all the bad news coming in for Black Ops 6. So we have the skill based matchmaking, some new features that Many people aren't really fans of the price increases in terms of the game, the bundles, the battle pass, and these other items, and just so much more. So if you want all the details on that, I'll have the link down in the description. Check it out after this video. But anyways, let's go ahead. Let's get into it. So multiplayer for Black Ops 6 on day one is actually going to be launching with 16 brand new maps. It means that on the very first day, you'll have access to all of them. And this is not including the seasonal content maps. So once season one drops, which is going to be around December, we'll have an additional two to three maps that they're going to end up adding and then it's going to continuously progress so we're already starting off with a decent size map pool and out of these 16 maps 12 of them are going to be medium to large size so these will be 6v6 maps that you'll be able to play in core modes such as domination tdm kill confirmed and the usual and then the other maps which are going to be four of them are going to be small scale these are going to be called strike maps and the cool thing about strike maps is they will also be available in 6v6 so you are going to have the full 16 maps available in core modes but then on top of that they're also confirming that there's going to be smaller scale modes such as gunfight 2v2 3v3 these are going to be taking place within these four small scale maps that are going to be available within the launch they have also confirmed for the storyline that all these maps are going to be launching after the campaign so whatever happens in the campaign will directly alter and adjust and change these maps. Now let's talk about the actual map details. The very first map that we have is gonna be the remake of Nuketown. This is actually gonna be considered a strike map. They didn't show the actual map within the direct itself, but it, there were a couple of teasers. When you looked at the main menu, you could see Nuketown in the background. It was one of the vote options for the map that you wanted to play, and it was like loading up. And during the creator showcase, they actually teased it as a redacted map, which they sort of like blacked it out. But at the same time, it was very visible that it it was indeed Nuketown. The major difference is that it is going to be within the Gulf War period to follow the storyline, but at the same time, it looked like a sandstorm has fully hit Nuketown. There was a couple of concepts people have created in the past. This is the closest that I was able to get, so the entire Nuketown layout is going to stay exactly the same. The major difference is just the map is going to be covered with sand. It will be desert themed. Think of it like Rust and Nuketown put together. More than likely, this map itself will probably be showcased within the multiplayer trailer or as in some sort of a pre order bonus we've seen them in the past throw in nuketown as a pre-order map where you're able to access it early if you pre-order the game and then if you don't you get access to it a couple months down the line maybe with season one that's something that i'm theorizing they could potentially end up doing only because they didn't want to showcase it during the direct and it looks like they're saving it for some sort of a surprise during that same creator meeting they actually ended up giving out some descriptions as well as map names for some of the multiplayer maps the very first one that we have here is called skyline which is actually the mansion that you saw a couple of times they even provided a photo of it and you can see that it has a pool sort of like towards the outside you have full access there and then there's other gameplay footages showing the inside where there's a guy sliding and jumping over the couches and then there's another area where you're able to go upstairs and you're able to follow through so it is a medium scale size map it looked like and it wasn't really all that big but it wasn't all too small and it had multiple different angles and areas that you can fight at and this is like the gameplay footage that they ended up providing but the map is called skyline and this is what it looks like following that the next map that we have is called derelict apparently this map takes place in the appalachian mountains it looks like an abandoned train yard with all these different trains that you're able to use they actually showcase like the diving mechanics here on this map a lot of the b-roll clips also took place on this map just showcasing the different amount of angles and the different areas obviously you can jump on top of these trains there's also small little buildings fences that you can play around showcases all the different amount of angles Angles. From my understanding, it definitely looks like it's an all original brand new map. It may have taken inspiration from other past Call of Duty maps, but in this case, but based on the different clips, there's a couple of lanes that you can go through. It doesn't look like it's all too 
confusing. It looks more like a thin, longer type of style map. There are buildings on the side with rocks and trees that you could probably hide under. There's also different heights. So not only can you access the top of the rail, there's also buildings with a little bit of height that you can reach through the windows. It's one of these maps that they showed for the longest amount of time during the direct. So we have quite a bit of gameplay footage in regards to this one. Maybe this is like the devs favorite map. They think this is probably going to be the more popular map uh, among the 16. For some reason, they just showed this one so much. But other than that, we jump onto the next map that we have. This map is called the pit, which is labeled under a strike map, meaning that it is going to be a small scale. And as you see here, it's an underground tunnel type of map. There's a couple of different gameplay pieces of footage that we ended up seeing. They also gave us a couple of seconds worth of B-roll just to see what the map looks like. It's like an underground tunnel. It looks like it's part of something bigger, maybe an extension of another map that we have. There's a theory that this could be the extension of Vorkuta, which we'll talk about in just a second. But at the moment, you can see that this map has different levels that you're able to access through it. And that's mainly because the map is so small, they want to sort of give you a different areas of combat. So the different heights are probably a good way to do that. It's not really that well lit up. Most of the light really comes from the top of it. And there are a couple of little light bulbs, but it's overall a darker type of map style. But this is definitely going to be the small scale strike map. Now let's talk about what the bigger version of this map could end up potentially being. And that is Vorkuda. We've seen a couple of clips from it, which actually looks like the map itself. And that looked to be from the campaign. Now, the thing is, is as we talked about earlier in the video, a lot of the campaign maps are set to be coming into multiplayer. I don't think Vorkuda ever actually made it as a multiplayer map in Black Ops. It was only available in the campaign. Although it will be a first time ever multiplayer map, it is, I guess, considered a remake, but this is potentially something that we could see. We saw a couple of different clips. Although they may be campaign, some of them actually look to be multiplayer, mainly because you can see all the players just running around all over the place. And usually with campaign, it's more of a strategized type of thing where everyone is working together, but then in multiplayer, it's just hectic. Everyone's running around around doing their own thing. And that's what it sort of looked like from this footage. And then they also showcase some of the equipment that's coming into multiplayer, such as like that throwing knife, that little sticky throwing knife and that little shock thing that they ended up throwing. So it's just a couple of different items that they showcase, which I believe are coming into multiplayer. And this once again, teases that this map could potentially be a multiplayer map. And then there's also the actual campaign footage where you could tell it is campaign where they're using the mini gun. And then there were also uh, showcasing the different AIs moving around and the different missions that you're able to complete. So you can see the difference between multiplayer and campaign, and they showed it in both of them. So I definitely do believe that this is going to be one of the 16 maps. The next one that we have, this one is called Rewind, actually based out of a real life location in America, West Virginia, known as Liberty Falls. The layout for this map, it looks like some sort of a plaza. There's a big supermarket store. There's also like a movie store. It looks like you can see from the back, it says fast forward. And then the map is actually called Rewind. But then they showcase the different angles, different play styles. They actually show a little bit of multiplayer gameplay from this and what's very interesting about this map is the fact that this is actually going to be one of the round based zombie maps so the zombie map is going to take i guess assets from this and it's going to have its own different type of round based style to it so it's not going to fully look like this they're obviously going to zombify it make it darker make it creepier looking and then alter it up but the location is going to be within the same exact area more than likely when you get to test out that map you'll end up seeing the similarities but what are your thoughts and opinions on this it's definitely a map that has a very unique layout usually the maps are like square rectangular shape and they follow a particular set of lanes or style but this one looks more circular so i want to see how that's going to actually work out in multiplayer but this is the map that we have known as rewind following that the next map that we have is going to be the casino one so this one just a disclaimer all the footage you're seeing here is for sure from campaign because we saw a bunch of different cinematics they talked about how this casino mission plays a very big role in the black ops storyline and the whole campaign so more than likely it's probably going to end up getting carried into multiplayer but it looks like it's so detailed there's so many different angles the map is massive and there's so much going on with it that i honestly think that there's no way they miss an opportunity to bring a map like this into multiplayer but these are the different clips that we have this one they showcase this map pretty much the most out of all of them that they've shown so far which is why i believe it's going to end up also being a multiplayer map and it just has like that texture that detail quality that it looks like they really put in quite a bit of effort in and it would just be a waste for it to be put into campaign and not brought alongside for multiplayer but this is the map and this is all the footage that we have for it so far the next one that we have this one is going to be a map called scud which was previously leaked 
leaked and known as radar in the files when it previously got leaked and we saw a little bit of footage from it it looks like it's going to be a smaller scale map a lot of the different new movement mechanics and the settings that they altered they all showcased it on this map even the inspect animations so it is definitely one of the maps that they plan on bringing here and they did confirm that the name was scud and then alongside that it looks like it has that similar design from world war ii with the trenches that you have the different types of buildings the different areas that you're able to climb and run through it doesn't look like it's going to have a map with too many high levels so there's just a couple levels where you're able to go towards the trenches and the majority of the fight will be within the trenches and you can see there's different areas where you can head glitch the routes are pretty common and standard so through the trenches is probably where you're going to see most of the combat you can also see from the layout on the skybox the map is a little bit foggy not too much sunlight coming in they did showcase a before and after so they showcased that there was some sort of a battle that ended up taking place there and then as a result this is how the map ended up looking it looks like it's somewhere in the middle east probably in iraq mainly from some of the signs they look like they're in arabic so that's just what i'm seeing here from these maps but what are your thoughts and opinions on this one the next one that we have they don't actually showcase this one all too much only a couple seconds and this one is an ancient city of babylon in iraq as well and this one it has like a maze layout you can see that there's just a bunch of buildings different angles that you can go through but they're very thin the map doesn't look all too big but we really don't know because they don't show that much of it but these are just the, the like the little short clips that they ended up teasing this could end up potentially being one of the other strike maps remember there's a total of four we know that nuketown's one of them we know that that underground mine pit is one of them and then this could also end up being one of them so so that could be the third one the next map that we have this one was actually teased within the files and the map could be named pillage this was leaked to be the palace map which is going to be the palace of saddam hussein during the gameplay showcasing where they showed the fidelity the different explosives the map was shown during the daytime and you could see palm trees it, it looks like the same actual location but then during the campaign they showed it where it was sort of towards the evening and the time of the day was a little bit different so my guess is this map is more than likely going to end up being during the daytime for the multiplayer and then the campaign the only difference is just the time of the day but i think the layout is going to stay exactly the same you're probably going to have full access to the inside of the building you definitely are able to use the front which that's what they mainly showcase and then the outside of it anyways the next map that we have this one i'm going to call avalon because we don't know the exact name of it but avalon is going to be the new war zone map that's coming in with black ops 6 and it is mentioned that this this little map that you're going to see here is actually a piece of that bigger war zone map but we don't know exactly what this one is called you definitely could tell that this one's unique and brand new completely different from all the other maps that we saw it looks like some sort of a city or a town where you're able to fully access all the buildings it once again confirmed that you are able to go through the doors and open them and then once again it also showed the swimming feature where there was some bodies of water that you were able to jump into hence why this is also connected to that war zone map because in war zone we know they aren't getting rid of that swim feature and for a fact we know that this is multiplayer because you can see multiple different players running around they also showcase some of these settings and the fact that you're able to alter the hud which indicates that's probably going to end up being multiplayer and this will be one of the maps that we will end up getting we also know that theater mode is going to be available in multiplayer and that's where they showcased it on this brand new map being able to use that theater mode so i'm thinking that this is also going to be a multiplayer map but i'm gonna leave you off with a couple of other additional maps that we don't have any confirmations on but i saw them during the direct and just wanted to point them out so first off there was this office building it looks like it takes place completely with inside that location and it does have different levels so you're able to see and spot players that are under you i've seen clips where they were showcasing the diving mechanics and then they showcase it looks like campaign footage where there's a bunch of different operators under them they were able to shoot and yeah so it was just like a couple of clips that was shown within this location that i didn't recognize from the maps that i've talked about and then there was also another one which i feel like is a very important location in the campaign and that is the safe house we know that for a fact the safe house is going to be a very big thing which they did talk about for a couple of minutes throughout the direct they give a full breakdown showing the inside of it all the different rooms the different places that you're able to access as well as outside of it there is the possibility that this could end up being a 6v6 map that they could end up bringing into multiplayer but that's all that i have for you guys in this video i hope you guys found it informative if you did don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button once we have a little bit more information on these maps and other information on what to expect i got you guys covered but it's been a boy and hopefully i'll be seeing you guys again peace